The Zerg are currently overrunning several Terran stations, and it looks like the Confederacy is not responding at all. The only people that are responding are the Sons of Korho, and by accepting the help of Arcturus Mengsk, we are now, effectively speaking, an outlaw ourselves as well. The Jacobs Installation, office of the former Colonial Magistrate on the Marsara Colony. Your tenure as Colonial Magistrate is suspended. I was worried about that. official investigation of your affiliation with the Sons I mean, of Korra. I didn't really have much of an option. Receiving incoming transmission. Hey man, Arcturus' boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation, but they seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sara is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet, and so are we. However, there is one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapons schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederates' evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. So I'm into it. If there was any doubt on whether or not I was a traitor to the Confederacy, I guess this sort of puts the nail in the coffin. Thank you very much about that, uh, Arcturus. Anyway, in case you were wondering, yes, I've seen people comment this is indeed a Christmas mug, even though it's like the middle of August. <laughs> Christmas mugs are, are always acceptable, okay? Anyway, our objectives for this mission are to retrieve data disks from the Confederate network, and of course, Rainer must survive. So we're quite literally going to be uh, raiding an outpost of the Confederation. Seems like a terrible idea, let's do it. Ooh, I think this may actually be a, uh, like a dungeon crawling kind of mission. I love those. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess technically speaking, this wouldn't be a dungeon. But we got no income here, we have no... We've got no, you know, army building going on here, or any mining for that matter. Do we really... That's a civilian! I don't think we want to kill any civilians. No, fine, we'll just simply... I mean, there's a bunch of SCVs there, there's a bunch of civilians. Let's try and be nice here. But anyway, this is coincidentally usually also the type of mission that I'm quite terrible at. So apparently we do have Stimpak here, and if I'm not mistaken actually, Stimpak does not actually... Well, obviously it hurts my units, right? But if I'm not mistaken, like, medics are not gonna be a thing until the Brute War expansion. So this is gonna be rather interesting. What is that? A Terran beacon? Alright, what's this? Teleportation field activated. Ooh! You have teleported to Sector 5. Alright. Bunch more civilians over here. Apparently if I attack move around, my troops just simply gun them down. Security oh, yeah. I mean, I'm... Oh. So, even though I killed a bunch of civilians there, as well as a single marine, it now opened up some additional vision right here for our troops. Now, I do fully intend to at least discover most of the secrets for each of the missions. Can we not go in there? Can we go in there, then? Wait, 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 no, I don't want to go back there just yet. Ah, whatever. We'll go into the other direction here then first. Anyway, um, I do fully intend on exploring most of the missions. Now, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I don't actually know if there are any bonus objectives. If there are bonus objectives, I, uh, I would probably complete a bunch of them. I'm not really necessarily a person that needs to, like, complete every single thing in this game. Anyway, we don't have any medics here, so I gotta be very conservative with using Stimpak. Ideally, I don't want to lose any troops. Like I said, even though this is one of my favorite types of missions, we've got like a small army and you need to like complete objectives. This is also like usually the kind of mission that I'm not particularly great at, just because if you lose a couple of troops randomly, you may end up, uh, you may end up just not making the mission because you're derping around too much and you end up losing too many troops early on. Fire pads, by the way, do have uh, stim pack. I actually did not know that until I recently started playing multiplayer. I know, I'm kind of a noob. I'm gonna make many more silly mistakes in this playthrough. I'm calling it right now, so be prepared. I'm gonna trigger quite a couple of people in the combat section at some point. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fascinating. <laughs> anyway, so far though, not gonna lie, I love this. Like, I'm, I'm a big fan of storylines in general. What's that? 
I'm a big fan of like storylines and fantasy games and, and fantasy books for that matter in general. And um, a lot of people have mentioned that while they enjoyed the StarCraft 2 like storylines, they said that the StarCraft 1 one is significantly better than the StarCraft 2 storyline. Apparently it's far darker and far more like, you know, less straightforward I suppose. Anyway, it does kind of look like we're walking in a circle here. Do you have a quick little peek in that corner? Is there anything here? Do you guys, by the way, shoot if I... Yeah, no, you do. Even if I don't attack move with them, even if I just simply put them on stop command, they will still gun down all of these civilians. I think I want to gun them down. Um, Yeah, so we have sort of like walked into a circle then. Let's go back to that beacon. Let's go back to that beacon and see what we can do there. But anyway, um, so like I was saying, I do want to like... If there are bonus objectives, I do plan on at least completing a bunch of them. But I don't necessarily need to like, you know, complete every single one. Just because it's... Uh, I know it's. I know there's people out there that need to like complete every single thing and go like 100% achievements and all that. Not really me, to be honest. I never really cared very much for like achievements and those kinds of things. I just simply want to know the story. All right, I think I'm headed in the right direction right now. I should be able to walk straight towards this next beacon. I'll simply just walk my troops back around just to make sure that we're gonna be uh, in a in a. Whoa, what's this? Look at that, Arachnosaur. There's dinosaurs in here! What's this confederation doing? Alright then. All of these doors are locked. There's a bunch of Zerk in there too. What are these guys doing here? I'm sorry. You're... I mean, I don't like you guys very much. Ooh, the cell's doors open. Oh, snap! You're telling me that these doors just simply opened up the, uh, the Zerk here? Alrighty then. <laughs> no, by the way, I saw a couple of... Uh, I saw a Zerg with the Confederate holding pens myself, and that was over a year ago. It's clear the Confederates have known of these creatures for some time. For all we know, they could be breeding the things. Be that as it may, our priority here is accessing the Confederate network. We'll deal with the Zerg another day. Okay, then. It's a bunch of dinosaurs here as well, though. Can we have a look at those dinosaurs? Dinosaurs are friendly? Of course. I don't think I want to attack him. Seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> it's a Rachnosaur and then a, a Rhinodon. Fair enough. Anyway, does this we can now activate anything else? What I was gonna say though is that some people mentioned in the comment section on the previous videos that I should consider turning up the difficulty. Interestingly enough, there is no such thing as a difficulty level in this game. There's just simply uh, one difficulty. So I would be playing on the hardest one. But as it is right now, there's just simply no such thing. Uh, Rainer, can you open that? Thank you, buddy. There's one Marine here hiding in the corner. Get that. Get the other guys then as well while we're at it. These are civilians, I know. Automatic defense system deactivated. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that deactivated. Well, the automatic... Yeah, yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I don't know exactly where it got deactivated, brother. Maybe it's now not gonna, like, pop up any more of these traps out on the map. I guess we'll do uh, some exploration here. I'll keep a bunch of these guys alive. I mean, they're not running from me either. That's probably an achievement if you, like, kill every single last civilian, right? <laughs> I love the Stimpak on the fire bed, though. It's like he, uh, he lunges forward. And he, uh, I guess he damages people. Burns them up. Um, so we're just simply looking for some classified information, but I'm not really sure where it's- Ooh, this one's golden. That's a golden beacon. Oh, I didn't realize that there were a bunch of uh, vultures here. Uh, that's not entirely what I had anticipated. These things do, I believe, too short my mariners. So I may end up taking a couple of, uh, couple of hits here. And I actually ended up losing quite a few troops. That's alright. Let's go to the Golden Beacon here and see what they have to bring here instead. I actually lost quite a few troops there. Teleportation field activated. Okay. So we're now in Sector 1. Unauthorized entry detected. Nothing is going on, Advisor. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I wonder if Rainer could do this by himself. He seems to do a lot of damage. 
I did use stim on them once, which I probably shouldn't have done, because it just... I think stim is, like, percentage-based. Yeah, look at that. He took four damage from one of those missiles. What a beast. Also, he's good green armor. <laughs> Very convenient. Doesn't look like the other marines. Ooh, is that a ghost? Time to micro back our weakened units. Trying to, at least. I'm assuming this is where we need to go, though. Is that Vespian? You think that's Vespian? It does kind of look like some. Alright, we're making our way towards the center of this map. We made our way towards this beacon here as well. Let's have a quick look at that corner. Oh. Oh, we're downloading the files already. On the plans, man. And the transport's waiting when we come out. This should be good. Ooh, that was the mission right there. Okay. Let's do another. In the wake of the chaos resulting from the Zerg invasion, the Sons of Korhal escaped with the stolen data disks. That's Rainer right there. I think this is new artwork. I don't think this is this is in the original game, right? I mean, it looks far too high of a quality for it to actually be in the original game. Fleeing to the border colony of Antigua Prime or Antigua Prime, Arcturus's group now plans its next crucial moves against the Confederacy. 13 hours after the evacuation of Marsara, Proto's warships took up orbit around the colony and unleashed a massive planetary bombardment. All life upon the surface was extinguished. Revolution, secret staging area, second moon of Antigua Prime. Hey man, headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. Thank you. Thank you. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. There she is. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. Alrighty then. That's the end of the briefing, but there we have none other than Sarah Kerrigan. Our objectives are to bring Kerrigan to the Antiguan Command Center. We need to defend the Antiguan Rebels, and Rainer and Kerrigan must survive. So we are most definitely an outlaw right now for the Confederacy. We're also part of the Sons of Korhal, and... Well, at the very least, we're one of their commanders. And all things considered, I guess everything is very much so different already than when we first got started with the campaign right here. But anyway, so it looks like we're gonna have two... Well, commander troops, like two hero units right here. So we need to defend the Antigua Rebels and bring Kerrigan to the command center. Okay. Another dungeon crawling mission kind of thing? Is any one of you called Kerrigan? I don't see a Kerrigan in here. Oh yeah. I love the speed of the vulture though, look at that thing. Is that her? Oh, there she is! Wait, we can zoom in? I had no clue! What's going on? What's up, baby girl? I finished scouting out the area and... You pig! What? I haven't even said anything to you yet. Are we flirting? Yeah, but you were thinking it. We are. Yeah, you're a telepath. Look, let's just get on with this, okay? Right. Nothing more romantic... This is Jimmy. ...than flirting right before a battle, right? That's true love right there already. Anyway, we got two abilities on, uh, on Sarah. Apparently we've got Cloak. Of course, she is indeed going to be a ghost right here. And she's also got a spell called Lockdown. I'm not entirely sure actually what Lockdown does. It'd be a pleasure. What now? What now? Oh. Missile turrets. We don't like you guys. Get out of here. It'll be a pleasure. Very good. 
did not quite want to lose a single one of my troops there. Maybe we should just move forward with Kerrigan then. So it does look like, while we have some minerals here, we're not actually using any of it. Can she just take that out? What if I cloak? Does it cost me any energy to decloak? Well, that takes forever. I don't really want to deal with that, to be honest. So we currently have 215 mana. Yeah, decloaking does not cost me any mana. Kerrigan can use her cloaking ability to sneak by most enemy forces. Only detectors, such as missile turrets, can be used to spot cloaked units. Alright, can, uh, can we just go ahead and kill those dudes? I'd appreciate that. Is there a ramp here anywhere? Get the ray! Cool. Um, so, I guess we're just primarily focused on nuking down as many of these missile turrets as we can and sort of like leapfrogging Kerrigan forward. Oh, they don't have Stimpak. Oh snap, I completely misunderstood there. I tried hitting that button a couple of times. Could have microed that completely differently if that were to be the case. But... Alright, fair enough. Let's see how far we can advance here without uh, her getting shot. Not very far. Okay, once again we're cloaked. Um, Let's see. Do I just have to simply bring her over here? Is that it? Garrigan kills the officer. That was quick. Cool. So, I guess we now get to use our resources. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and start constructing some additional... Uh, some additional uh, SCVs. And I guess we'll just simply gun down all of these bunkers. Make sure that we get rid of all of these dudes. Um, so we got a bunch of construction here already. I think you guys are going to be Holtke F2. There's not a base over here that we could potentially take. I'm not entirely sure how much um, production we're truly going to need. But anyway, I put my... Um, I put my F2 hotkey right on top of the factory, and then I've got my F3 hotkey right on top of the barracks. That way we should be able to at least uh, keep them reasonably uh, reasonably well organized. We can also actually make raids. Awesome. And we can also make dropships. Woo! It's giving me a lot of additional units right from the get-go. Quite liking that, but I think once more, we'll focus here um, in the earlier part of the game at least. On just simply building up that economy. I mean... It may not be the most exciting part, but economy is so important to simply having resources to spend on stuff, like in general, is usually going to be a good thing. Now, there's a lot of bunkers everywhere. We have done, um, you know, already one of the uh, one of the main objectives, and I'm guessing that we're gonna just simply have to get... Oh, there's a lot of troops in here. Get them out of there. Bunkers are overrated. Well, maybe they're really not. Can you guys also come over here? You know what? Let's actually, actually, let's just sit in these bunkers for a little while longer. There's probably a reason why they're here. Let's try and not outsmart the game, Loco. I've got a tendency to do that sometimes. I remember people at the in the Warcraft 3 playthrough shouting at me for a while during quite a few of the episodes, explaining to me that I should really try and use, uh, you know, static defense more often. And one of the things that I have found out already as well um, in StarCraft 1 compared to StarCraft 2 is that static defense in this game is awesome. Like, static defense is really good. Now, I wonder if we're going to be attacked at all. Because I'm not currently seeing any attacks or anything along those lines just yet. Let's go ahead and research Ion Thrusters here next as well. Which is the uh, movement speed for the Vulture. I think that the speed upgrade is probably more important than the Vulture Spider Mine. Even though the, the Spider Mines are still very helpful too. Okay, can you guys start mining some Vespian please? That would be helpful. Even though I'm not really making anything that currently requires any of that, but... Um, I think we've got enough, uh, I think we've got enough, um, I think we've got enough unit producing structures. I'm not sure if I'm gonna worry about any rates or anything along those lines. I think I'm probably okay without them. Let's go ahead and construct, uh, at least, like, two or so. How, how big is this base? <laughs> Rather big, let's just leave it at that. Let's go ahead and construct another supply depot over here. And I think we've got enough SCVs here for the time being. Rainer, where you at? Rainer, why are you hiding on the corner, dude? There we go. And Sarah, where are you? 
Did I lose track of Sarah? This is Jimmy. Oh man, I think we lost Sarah. She's probably in the middle of the screen and I'm just not seeing it. Would not be surprised. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do we really need like upgrades here? So I can't quite build an armory yet. I can build one of those. So I guess we'll go ahead and build one of those then. Did Sarah go anywhere? Did I put her in a bunker? Can ghosts go into a bunker? I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, We got a rather fast hit squad now of units anyway. So I'm kind of tempted to just simply move, uh, move around the map with those dudes instead and just see what we can do. See if there's anything uh, hidden in the corner. Look how fast these guys are now. Incredibly fast. There are not dropships that we can also use to our advantage. I don't think there's anything here either, right? No. So let's have a quick look at the mission objectives. We need to destroy the Confederate base. Rainer and Kerrigan must survive. So let's see if we can find and locate that Confederate base. Considering the bottom left corner of this map is still rather dark. I think that is the most likely position where they're going to be located. Um, can I actually build a... Okay, no, I can't. I was going to say, can I actually build any... Oh, there she is. I didn't even see her. Can I build any additional things right there? But no, it's literally... It's literally just the uh, the marine and then the fire bat as well. Um, let's go ahead and build ourselves a academy there too. And start a plus one missile upgrades. Or plus one uh, infantry weapons upgrades. Just so we can use those to our advantage. I'm not sure how many uh, like units we're going to need here. Where Where is this base? Wait, 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 wait. Is it... Oh! I can build dropships now. Is this what we're gonna need? I think we're gonna need dropships. Yeah, so certainly my Wraith ended up dying there, but I think we're gonna need dropships. So I'm gonna have to make a... <gasps> that is cool! Like, the game is literally not holding my hand here. Like, <laughs> literally not holding my hand. That was almost correct English. So they actually counterattack here too? Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so... The game, the game is not holding my hand in the sense that I need to like... Pay very close attention to what is going on and... Uh, I mean, it's not telling me what to do. Alright, that's cool. Let's go ahead and build a bunch of dropships then. I think that's where we're going to spend the majority of our gas on. I'll go ahead and queue up a bunch of these things. Um, that means that I'm not going to really worry about all too many vultures then either. Because I don't think the vultures are going to be that great. Let's go ahead and send some... Uh, some spider mines are around our base then. So we can defend against any kind of like incoming aggression. Put a third SCV into this gas geyser as well. And we'll keep on queuing up more and more of these dropships. And I think I'm going to have to build up a force for a little while. And then drop them all off on this little island kind of area. Because I'm pretty sure... No, I'm pretty sure I cannot quite drive over there. So let's go ahead and, uh, and build up at least like three or four dropships. Alrighty, so here's what we got. We got our fifth... I think this is our fifth dropship finishing up. I got a 1-1 one -one just about to finish up as well on these marines. I've researched the ranged upgrade for the marine as well as their Stimpak upgrade. And I've laid down a ton of spider mines all over our base. So essentially I'm going to leave these vultures here behind. And I'm just simply going to make a whole lot of marines, drop them off on the other side on this little island I suppose. And uh, we'll see if we have enough with those units to just simply clean this one up. So I'm not going to take Rainer. Rainer is going to be of the defensive hit squad. He's going to be hold key number 6. And I'm going to need quite a couple of hotkeys on, uh, on these marines, I suppose. I was thinking here, I could just, like, fly around a couple of times with the dropship, I guess. That'd be totally fine. Anyway, our vulture should be more than enough to deal with that. So apparently they're going to be fighting, uh... Ah, that's a little annoying. I was going to say, I haven't really seen them fight a whole lot yet. But anyway, let's go ahead and put all of these units in the different... In the different, uh, dropships. Can we go ahead and get in there, guys? Come on now. So they're going to be able to get rid of that easy peasy. I was actually sure if they were uh, going to be hitting us as well. Um, is there any room still? Looks like we're good. Now, I'm hoping here that we're going to have enough. I have no clue. There are quite a few resources inside of my base. So maybe we could be in some trouble. Uh... My units are dropping out, but not particularly fast. I don't think I did that in the correct way. I did it in the way that you normally do it in StarCraft 2. Not like the way you do it in StarCraft 1, apparently. I do have a, an awful lot of troops here, though. 
Now, of course, these are not med effects. <laughs> I know there's one or two people that are wondering whether or not these dropships heal up. No, they do not. Also, I can only select 12 units at once, which is surprisingly tricky. I could probably just use uh, Sarah here as well for the majority of these, but... Okay. Let's go ahead and just simply send these guys back home, because I'm just sort of losing them right now. They can, uh, they can be ready to pick up any reinforcements if they need to. I did end up losing way more there than I needed to, that is for certain. There's a lot of Widow Mines, or rather Spider Mines, burrowed everywhere. Come on, get in there. And I'm actually gonna take some of you guys as well. Come on. Get in one of these things, please. Very good. And in the meantime, my dudes here on the other side of the map are still doing a lot of work too. Let's queue up some of those guys. Can you guys go in there? Oh, you don't fit. You can only put four of those in there at once. That actually makes perfect sense, huh? Do you fit in any of those? No? Alrighty then. That's too bad. They actually do unload rather quickly. I thought that you would have to like manually unload them just to try and get the most value out of it. But um, I could use more rates, I suppose, but it's not really that important. Don't! Oh, wow. I can't believe that actually just happened. Look at that AI dealing so much damage to us. Anyway, we are successfully taking down every single last of these buildings. And our primary objective is to just simply destroy, you know, this area. So I'm pretty sure as long as we're doing a decent job at cleaning everything up, right? And we don't get caught by a bunch of these spider mines. And I guess for that very reason, it might not be a bad idea for me to, like, go ahead and split up my units. But as long as we clean up every single last of these buildings, I'm pretty sure that means that we're gonna be victorious. Not sure if the, uh... The supply depots also need to be shut down. Let's explore this area real quick. I think there may be another command center over here. It's just a random refinery? What's going on over there? Anyway, my units are a little low in HP. I'll admit that part. But um, I think with this in mind, I think we're going to be able to just simply uh, kill every single last of these depots. Let's do a quick loop-de-loop, -loop, I guess, around this area so we roughly know what's going on. If there's any more hidden buildings, but it doesn't look like it. Carrigan is surprisingly tough to spot. Maybe that's just me. Okay, very good. Um, do I still have any dropships hanging around? I do. Let's go ahead and uh, get you uh, back to the main base. And while I'm not going to be able to uh, stim a whole lot of units here anymore, I guess I can use Kerrigan here as well to snipe down some of these raids as she deals uh, a lot of solid damage there. And I think that this may very well be the last of the refinery that we have to worry about. Bring some other units over. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the last of the units and the buildings that we need to take care of. I think... There we go, we are indeed going to be victorious. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below and more importantly, make sure you subscribe so you get a notification as soon as the next episode goes live as well. Other than that, I wanna thank you very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, all right? And I will see you in the next one.